Hello and welcome to the betting picks video for Utah at Stanford for Friday night. I'm your host, Matthew Amato, here with my co-host, Jason Gobo for, li for lineups.com. That's her name. Can't forget that one. Um, and we got an interesting Pac-12 matchup. We got Utah at Stanford. Utah, big favorites. And we're going to talk about that very shortly. The line has moved quite a bit in Utah's favor. But um, this is going to be a good one. We've actually had some pretty entertaining Pac-12 Friday night games. And so far, Jason and I, I think our record's pretty darn good with these Pac-12 ones. I think we've only lost one bet that we've recommended. Um, don't quote me on that. We're going to do a whole show at the end of the year going over our exact record for all these picks. Don't you worry. You can call us dummies in the comments when that happens. Um, <laughs> and you can see how much money we made or lost in terms of units. All right, Jason, I rambled enough. Talk about the spread. Uh, yeah, Utah, as you mentioned, it was sitting at seven and a half last night. Um, and now it's up to nine. It's funny because I had my notes. I'm taking this one up to nine and a half. Uh, and I'm still liking that, even with the public being heavy on it. Both teams, three and five against the spread this year. The Pac-12 has been um, tough to predict, but we've done a pretty good job so far, as you mentioned. Um, Utah's still a team with a lot to play for. And Stanford's dropped three straight after that upset against Oregon. Um I know you're going to touch on some numbers, so I'm going to leave those, those to you. But this is a mismatch on both sides of the ball for Utah and Stanford. Um, Utah, just the far better all-around team. Uh, I like that they're going to be able to basically have a complete offense, run the ball well against the Stanford defense. That's allowing over 200 rushing yards per game. Um, this is going to set up, you know, uh, the pass here, which has actually been pretty good. And I love the way Utah's offensive line has kind of come together as the season's gone on. They struggled a little bit early. Um not going to really have that much of a, uh, you know, front seven from Stanford being able to press them a ton. So uh, rising is going to have all day to throw. This is just too much for me. I, I don't think there's going to be a pac 12 after dark upset in this one. Um, like you said, like I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to hear the numbers. Cause I, I know there there's a big discrepancy. There's a big discrepancy. <laughs> so, I mean, if you take a look at the stats, um, they have a little stats page on DraftKings, which is cool. Um, not loading it's right cool. now, but it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It'll give you it gives you raw numbers though. But if you take a, a look at the advanced statistics, we use football outsiders a lot. We reference this in a lot of our videos, and they've been really helpful for for betting trends. Like we've been using their efficiency ranking in collegiate, and Utah is top twenty five in both offense and defensive efficiency. That means they're a top tier school. Meanwhile, Stanford is in the eighties and sixties. That's a massive discrepancy going into a game, and when we've seen this kind of discrepancy. Um, when Jason and I have been placing bets, it usually means there's a blowout is about to ensue. Um, it's not a guarantee. Every game is different, and you do still need to look at the matchups, but there's nothing here when looking at the players on both sides of the ball that tells me Stanford's going to cover. This isn't one where I think the Sharps are going to come in at the 10 o'clock hour when it's minus 10 or something and hit Stanford heavy. That just does not seem like a smart thing to do. I think the line was just in the wrong spot to begin with. The public saw it. They hit Utah. We're at minus nine at this point. So I like Utah at minus nine as well. If they had quarter and a half odds, half odds, I think I would go with Utah throughout the whole thing, uh, similar to the Virginia Tech Boston College game. Yeah, I agree. I was, yeah, I was looking to see if they had some game props on, uh, especially at half. I probably envision uh, Utah five and a half minus six and a half, maybe if those come out for the half. And um, I, I would take them. I, I think Utah's going to roll in this one. Yeah. So the over-under, a little bit more difficult. Whenever we have Pac-12 after dark, it seems like the unders have been hitting. Um, it, it, I mean, the same thing happened when we talked. I think it was Stanford-USC or maybe different game. But I like the Stanford quarterback. I like their offense. I think they can put up points. But this is actually a really good Utah defense. Again, looking at advanced stats, whether it's football outsiders or other metrics, Utah's up there with really big name schools with other teams that are ranked who are performing well uh, they just really haven't put together and their record isn't reflective of how good the team actually is so i think even though my heart wants to say the over and i want to see an over in this game i want to see stanford sc score points watch an entertaining matchup i think the under hits 54 is just a little too much for me i'm with you yeah it's it's mainly comes down to the stanford offense uh ranks 10th in the pac 12 um which is not I mean, that's brutal, just given some of those Pac-12 <laughs> offenses. Um, so, yeah, I'm with you. You know, given the fact that we're both on Utah to cover the spread, um, I just don't see a ton of points for the Stanford side. And, and um, yeah, 54 is a big number for Utah to kind of get there on their own. Exactly. So I actually don't mind this 
two pick parlay at plus 272. I think the safer bet is just going with Utah uh, minus nine. I mean, heck, if you want to go extra safe, looking at the alternate spreads, you could get Utah minus six and a half at minus 145. That's honestly, again, you got to put up an extra $35 to get the return of 100. I don't think that's the worst implied odds um, when you're looking at just what could happen in a game like Utah struggles for some reason. Maybe they turn over the ball for a touchdown. Um, that six and a half seems really safe to win by just a touchdown. But minus nine, I'm not too worried. Again, we, we think they are going to roll in this one. Um, yeah. And when it comes to over under, I think 54. That's that's plenty of room if you if you want to bet the under. Yeah, for sure. All right. So another quick video wraps it up. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet, hit, please hit the subscribe button. It really hit, helps us out. I cannot do this. Jason, you're going to start having to do outros. <laughs> Click the bell to get notified when all of our videos go up. We're doing NBA, NFL, college football, and there are more sports on the horizon. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you disliked it, a dislike. And comment down below your favorite bets. That's our favorite part. We love interacting with you guys. And uh, thank you for engaging with us. And we'll see you for the next College Football Friday betting pick slate, which is next week. <laughs> See you then.